Hey guys, so I haven't done a wheel or eye video in a while. <clears throat> so I have re <laughs> renamed him Rex for uh, obvious reasons. He's been exercised, so there's no uh, craziness with him anymore. I've been working with him a lot. So uh, Rex and Angel, who, as you can see, is very much ovulating. And it's very cool because Angel has high white sides or a, a washed wash sides and of course Rex does not but he is also from the pink aberrant line and he's got a little bit lighter of a, a banding tone to him and you can see that the uh, let me get my finger in there the uh, the spikes have like the uh, the pink highlighting around the bases of the sp spikes and of course on Angel she has really dark bands with no highlighting around the spikes. And of course she has a aberrant band at the bottom of her tail with uh, high white sides on the tail as well. And of course he has a solid band on his tail, no high white sides, but he does have the aberrant markings. So I'm hoping that the aberrant marking at the base of, her, or at the, not the base, the tip of her tail that aberrant band is going to be uh, a marker for the aberrant line. So, hopefully these two will breed. You could see how uh, I thought he was a lot bigger, but in the last couple of months that I've had her, she has gotten, she's she's much bigger than, than him. And of course, she has a really cool head pattern and a, like a nose band on her. And he, of course, does not. So he has uh, dark markings all the way down to his lips. And he's going into shed, by the way, so it's kind of hard. It's not a really good example. But uh, she only has the dark on her head and then, you know, some uh, lighter colors on her snout. And then, of course, the band on her nose. So it's going to be really cool to see what they produce. Uh, she, of course, has light legs with uh, white front hands. He has dark legs with white fingertips. Yeah, he still doesn't like me. But I am going to go ahead and clean their tubs and set them up in a single tub. Hopefully when I get off work, they're not dead, or one of them's not dead. But, uh... Yeah, they're just so cool. I I love the knob tails. Super awesome. Sorry this is on my uh, iPhone 4. The T5i is at the the other house uploading, so yeah, I know. Who has two houses? Crazy people. Uh soon I hope I will be in there. It, I also, you know, I I I look at these guys all the time, but I never look at the pattern. You can see he's got a barren band at the base of his tail as well. So, she does not. She's just got that at the tip of her tail. But they're both completely different. I love that he's, well, he's in shed. It looks like he's, is he getting lighter throughout this whole video? Maybe he doesn't have uh, pink highlighting spots at the base of his spikes. Maybe he's just going into shed. I don't know. It's always so fun to look at them. Every time I, I see them, it's just a, a new experience. But I want to keep this under five minutes. Don't forget uh, facebook.com slash thorgecko.org and I'll leave a link in the description down below. And I hope you guys enjoy because I do. She's ovulating. Full on, ready to be a mommy. Out of quarantine now. And, uh, yeah. So fun. So, so fun. We did less than a 60-day quarantine just because uh, she wasn't eating when I got her, and she is eating now, as you can tell. And, of course, he has a huge fat tail. Probably a little, mm, not fatter than I'd like, but definitely good size. I was waiting for her to catch up. So clean fecals on both. No issue shedding. And, 
you can see she's she's a lot fatter than him because she is ovulating and she's kind of cautious of a, a male but yeah I guess we hit over five minutes hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time